Hey, Danny, thanks for uh, taking a little time to talk to my students at Rankin. And, uh, you know, so, so Danny, uh, you know, I'll try introducing you real quick and then I'll let you do a better job of introducing yourself. Um, so Danny came through um, one, of, one of the classes during uh, the COVID era, 2020, and he graduated in May of this year, 2022. And so he's been out in the workforce for uh, just a few months. And so it's a unique point of view because he's a fresh graduate, right? Uh, fresh into the industry. Um, and uh, the thing about Danny, um, at least academically, you know, he went through COVID and he always, um, we had the option to kind of come in and learn. And, and Danny always took that option. And, and I would just say as a student, uh, he was always a rock star. Um, he always, um, you know, handled everything that I gave him maybe with ease. I don't know if you felt that everything was easy, but it certainly seemed that you handled everything well. So he was kind of a rock star student and uh, it's, it's really neat to kind of see Danny starting his career. So um, anyways, Danny, that's kind of uh, my remember, you know, remembrance of, of you as a student, just a good student, good guy. And uh, was was nice to know you, but how would you introduce yourself? I guess, where are you working and, and what are you doing? All right, uh, yeah, so right now I'm working at Computer Packages Inc. And uh, what the company does is they develop software that handles uh, patent management for uh, attorneys and corporations. And it's a, it's a complicated uh, process with the patents and stuff. I don't wanna get too into that, but it's just a system that keeps track of people's data. And uh, that's what we do. And um, whatever they want with their data, we uh, manage it and uh, we have to do a good job of that because data is very important. Yeah, so what what uh, what languages are you using on the job primarily? Okay, yeah, uh, probably I'd say I'll, there's a lot of C-sharp and um, JavaScript and then the front end HTML and CSS and I think that sums it up and uh, it's a SQL language, does that count? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but you got a lot of that uh, throughout Rankin, right? I mean, was there was there any languages at least that you're doing on the job that you hadn't touched? Uh, well, the C sharp portion of it, it was more um, at Rankin, it was more with uh, Windows GUI. Yeah, yeah. Right, and uh, what we're doing here, it's uh, ASP.NET. I think yeah. uh, it's kind of newer with uh, razor pages and interactions with uh, models and controllers. I like so. that because uh, we literally have a curriculum change request in right now to teach exactly what you're saying. So, oh, okay, that's so good. That's very cool, very cool. Um, and so what was your job title again? I believe it's an application developer. If it's uh, anything else, it's like external developer, something along yeah. the lines of that. Okay, so, so exactly what you went to school for, right? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. And so, uh, do you have like one software package that you work on, or is there a bunch of different software packages, or is it just one big app, or how does that work? Okay, so uh, the main program we're doing right now is uh, one big app, but uh, I put on my resume uh, that I know React too. So my boss wanted me to uh, do something with React uh, for a Outlook add-in extension. Okay, so one big app and, and kind of something on the side. Yep. Nice. And um, you don't look like you're in an office. You certainly look like you're working <laughs> from home. And if I remember right, you, you moved to take this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, I'm in uh, Maryland right now, Rockville, Maryland. And this is the apartment that the company gave to me uh, to stay in while I'm training. Okay, okay. So, so you, uh, tell me about your, your job hunt after ranking. I mean, you, you found a job, how long did that take and you know, you had, you know, I guess you could view that as a sacrifice. You moved, did you want to move? And uh, yeah, how'd that go? Okay, yeah, I was definitely uh, fine with moving, um, but it, it was definitely a bigger hit once I came over here and I started missing my friends and family, but uh, I'll, I know I'll be back because I'll relocate to the Chicago office when I'm done with training. And um, uh, for the job hunt part of it, uh, I had this interview actually um, like probably two months before graduation and then they flew me out after graduation to come uh, to Maryland to interview here. But um, 
the the job hunt part i guess uh i was looking at another a uh, few candidates i think i had three other three other interviews that uh didn't really pan out so this was my, the first one that said yes and yeah. i was just like i'll take it and it, it was i think it was two weeks uh after graduation when they sent me the uh offer okay so you, you had you cast multiple nets this is the first net that you caught something and you were willing to relocate and you went and took a job and got an apartment and uh, sounds like when training is over, um, and so what have you had to learn, and how long does training last? Okay, yeah, so uh, really uh, training lasts, uh, I think my manager said about around six months, and uh, he says I'm doing a really good job right now, and if I really uh, wanted to, and if I do good on this uh, upcoming project, then uh, I can go back to Chicago and he, he would be totally fine training me uh, online there. And um, what what uh, training is right now, uh, we're learning uh, like the basics of the application that we're going to be working on and the basic uh, requirements that we're going to have to be doing like uh, data migration as well as uh, modifications to the projects that are common. So the training is as much about the technology because you said that there were the the dot net razor views the the full stack on the dot net environment you, you had to be trained a little bit on the technology side but also as much on the business requirements and what the business needs yeah definitely uh i think we we, we touched a lot about the technology side but i feel like uh at rankin you guys did a really good job of uh pushing me into there so i could uh breeze through that i think i got through that part uh faster than normal people awesome what uh <clears throat> what made you stand out do you think during the interview process uh that they wanted to bring you on suit and tie definitely uh, i took that one from mr smith told me uh suit and tie for the interview nice uh just uh the the questions too the um the questions i was really prepared for because i know uh you do a good job of explaining the class like uh, what what these are going to be interview questions like uh, passing by reference and passing by value I, I I remember that one in my head I'm like okay yep uh, other questions too uh, and you got that I one just, you got that interview yeah, question yeah, definitely <laughs> good and I, I think I just uh, aced the uh, test through it because um, I talked to I don't know very few people and that was the only uh, technical part so okay. uh, the soft skills were there too but I think that's that's about it so so the question is what what made you you know ace what helped you to do well in the interview the answer was you were prepared technically and and on the soft skill side 100 percent, yeah definitely oh, that's good to hear that's good to hear appreciate the appreciate hearing that um what advice would you give to a new student imagine they're on their fifth day of ranking as many of the students who will be watching this are on their fifth day you know what what do you need to be successful for two years at ranking I think uh, just work ethic. If you have enough work ethic in anything, I, I feel like you'll be able to achieve anything. Just uh, pushing through the the code. Like um, uh, if you need to take extra time on it, just getting it getting it down, getting the foundation. Once you build that foundation, it's it's easier to go from there. Yeah. So a solid work ethic, hard work, and uh, practice, more or less, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, definitely. Practice, practice, practice. Um, your your salary is uh, is clearly private. We're not going to put any sort of public information. But um, can you talk to like what kind of expectations you had around salary, um, kind of going into the industry, and kind of um, salary expectations, and then like were you, were your salary expectations met? Of course, yeah. I was uh, pleasantly surprised, I'd say, because uh, I was uh, willing to take anything at that point. I just had those three interviews that didn't really pan out, so I was just reaching for anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so your your salary expectations, because you were you were just hungry to get the experience. Hundred percent. Yep. It was less about the money and more about the the real world experience. And so, when the salary that you ultimately accepted, uh, you were pleasantly surprised with. Yep, definitely. I'm just trying to make sure I understand and just rewording <laughs> it in my own brain. So thanks for clarifying, yeah. Um, 
what's uh what's a day in your life like right now you know you work from home what time do you clock in and what's, oh, what's uh, like? i don't i don't actually uh work from home i just uh came back it's it's right next door uh the apartment oh. they gave me so oh, okay. i just came back i don't, I don't want to create any like disturbance in the office they they only gave me a cubicle uh my office is actually in chicago so i'm actually like in the middle of the hallway i don't want to disturb anyone oh okay so so that's why that's why we're keeping this on a tight schedule because uh, you got to get back yeah. to the office. Uh, it's just a five-minute walk, but that's fine. <laughs> so you're real close. Yeah. Nice. How do you like uh, How do you like uh, the city you're living in? I it's it's really good. Uh, you know, I wish I would have brought my car uh, to travel more, but uh, I like the walk and walking around and seeing the buildings next to me. Uh, DC is really nice as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You still playing Counter Strike? Oh, of course. Yeah, you were asking me for a day in, day in my life, right? Yeah, please. So, uh, you know me. I would never give up on my dreams. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I clock in. I wake up about 7:30. Uh, clock in at about eight because it's real close. I don't uh, do anything to get ready usually. But clock in at eight. Clock out 4:30 ish. 30 minute lunch in in between there. Uh, take I take a lot of caffeine in the morning. Uh, give me uh, good to go for work and then come back, uh, go to the gym, get my uh, body requirements net, met, I guess, and then usually meal prep and play Counter-Strike from there. And <laughs> I can tell you from now that I have 60 hours played in the last two weeks. Counter-Strike? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a full-time job. <laughs> full job, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. One of my, I remember, I mean, just... You love Counter Strike, and, yeah, hundred percent. And my job, regardless of was is with Danny or with any student, is to try and get them to focus on the technical coding <laughs> as much as possible, and the video games a little bit less. And so that is a a common challenge that I have. And so, uh, anyways, you're you're an example of someone who can do both. You know, so <laughs> that's more props to you. Thank you. Um, How hard was it to learn? So you, you know, you manage this software. Okay, you, you work on this software that manages patents for lawyers. You know, so I'm imagining people they want to have a patent. They go to a lawyer, and the lawyer is going to put this patents, you know, documentation in your system. How hard was it to learn the business of this? You know, workflow, the business side, as as compared to the coding side oh definitely yeah I'm, I'm still learning the uh business side of it actually because uh there's people that actually go to law school and learn about these things to do as a job to uh uh reach out to clients and handle their patents and we we as the programmers we have to know some of the uh specifications and stuff that goes in the patents the requirements the due dates all this and um it's it's definitely a lot to learn, but I feel like uh, it's it's just become easier uh, and easier uh, as you get more into it. And the the coding side, it, it's it's a uh, it's really big at first. Like when you just walk into an application and you have to know what each part does. But after after working with it uh, at the same time, like it gets easy. Uh, and uh, your question specifically, uh, have I I haven't answered that right? So it's which one is harder? Yeah. Uh, I I definitely say the the patent side because it's just out of my out of my zone because uh yeah, coding coding's just always been <clears throat> easy easy to read easy to just get through. Yeah, maybe coding comes a little bit more naturally to you. Yeah, definitely. I I'd say that. Yeah. Uh, uh, your former instructor, Mr. Smith, um, he made a comment on you one time, and it was, co he was very complimentary of you. He said something to the extent of, Danny doesn't even need me. <laughs> like, if I just give him the resources, Danny, that's all he needs. He doesn't need me, right? So, oh, so yeah. to that um, just means that it, it has, or maybe... It, he understood that it came easy to you, the coding side. And the reason I asked the question about the business requirements versus the coding requirements is that I, that's actually kind of common that I'm asking that and 
quite often the answer is exactly what you said. It is harder in many cases, once you have the coding down to then learn the business side and really what does the business need and how to, to deliver on that. Yeah, so that's a common answer. So I'm, I'm glad, you know, that seems consistent to me. Yeah, I believe it. Um, I'm just looking at my, my questions and we, we kind of we kind of knocked them out pretty quick and we got just a few minutes remaining. Um, you know, I got a, a small class right now. What questions might you guys have? Yeah. Uh, I would just ask like what he would think is his biggest roadblock coming uh, into uh, the industry as a new employee. Did you hear that? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, biggest roadblock. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't encountered anything yet. I know if there is a roadblock, uh, I could always ask my manager. The resources are always there uh, to find help. But uh, I think it's just uh, having to learn every day, like just keeping up with uh, coding. And there's always going to be something new, something that you learn. And uh, sometimes it's hard to latch onto those things. Yeah. Can answer. Other questions from the class? What do you got? Yeah. What was your strategy when you started to look for a job? What did you do? What was your strategy for a job hunt? What was your job hunt strategy? Just apply any, any everywhere. I think I, I reached a point uh, 10 applications a day, and then it was Indeed, LinkedIn. Uh, grow, grow your LinkedIn. Uh, I think that's a good, good tip right now. Grow, grow your connections. Get as many connections as possible. Um, and uh, this job, I actually got through Rankin's job board. Rankin Connection. Yes, sir. That's really good to hear. That's good to hear some positive feedback. <laughs> There's some, some spam out there that I think we got to work those kinks out. Uh, Danny, you've been awesome. What other questions we got? Uh, I was going to ask, what did he think was the most difficult uh, part of the Rankin curriculum? What was the hardest part of Rankin's curriculum? Your two years, what was the hardest class or hardest portion? Uh, <laughs> um, it had to be Android Studio, I think. Android Studio and the just using the interface of that, the tiny interface, and making the stuff for the tablets align, and uh, not really the coding necessarily. It was just I don't know, getting it all together on Android Studio, getting the app to work. Yeah, get it, the, the IDE. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Danny, any other like any other thing you'd say to like a newbie starting out at Rankin? Any other advice, pearls of wisdom? Uh, I've no just never give up. There you go. There you go. I like it. Uh, hey, we kept it to twenty minutes. I kept my promise. Thank you so much for uh, answering these questions. Oh and, yeah, uh, you know, congrats on your first job. I guess my only request is, you know, let's let's stay in touch. You know, you've done a really excellent job of just reaching out and saying hello, and that's why that's why we did this real quick. Um, so I I just appreciate having good alumni relations. So let's just stay in touch. Oh yeah, of course. Thank you. All right, thanks, man. Congratulations. Talk to you later. Thank you. See you. All right. Bye.